a decision to be of service to people, and I gave it my all. We are so pleased to honor Grace Deman for her pioneering work caring for individuals living with and dying from AIDS. Thank you, Grace. It's happened again late this afternoon, another head-on crash on the Golden Gate Bridge. It was a massive collision with devastating consequences. The 60-year-old woman driving suffered major injuries and may not make it. I get a phone call that there's been an accident. I mean, this one was like an atomic bomb. There was no way that anyone thought she would survive the accident. It's food calling. Grace is awake. I'm really, I mean, really awake. She's talking. She's asking questions. She wants to know what happened to her. I'm serious. It's just a miracle. Step over towards me. I'll take a one more step with the left. Okay. Good. So this leg forward. As a physician, I was a caregiver all my life. Hey. Hey. It's a real eye-opener to be on the other side of the caretaker-caregiver divide. She needed an ICU and, and she needed a rehab facility and then they sent her home. And where's the doctor, where's the expert, where's the nursing staff, where's the... It's like, well actually you're it, foo. I've lost the best friend. Who was your best friend that you lost? My you said body. Yeah. My body. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be this dependent so that I don't feel like a burden. Do you get it? Oh, the burden. The burden isn't your business. I do not want to go on living if I continue to be this disabled. Period. The end. I think I would have died early on if it weren't for my Zen practice. I learned that nothing lasts forever, including great pain, great sorrow, great helplessness. Nothing lasts forever. Who am I really now? Who do I want to be now? We'll see.